Hello, my dear friends. I suppose you are all doing well. At this weekend, we can really know who a Christian is, how a Christian life should be. The book of prophet Zephaniah and the letter of Paul to the Corinthians, and especially the Matthew's Gospel, which is giving um, uh, the Beatitudes of uh, the Christian life, they just focus how the human life, especially how a Christian life should be. Paul is speaking about uh, how to ashamed this world and for that God is choosing the poor God is choosing the weak just to ashamed the rich and the powerful people that means God is creating people who should actually act in the name of God to these people to this world especially how we understand this world the world goes ahead for uh, mighty things, for power, for money, for luxury, for fame. Exactly the opposite way is actually the uh, life of Christians, my dear friends. Especially in the Beatitudes, we hear from Jesus that he is saying that blessed are those who are uh, poor in the spirit of God. Blessed are those who are... Uh, uh, um, having good heart, who are interested for peace and all these things. All these principles are not in this world. And exactly, and exactly, Jesus is saying, if you are doing it, then you will get something. And especially if you are like this, you will be like this. That means he is showing how the heart of Christians should be in this world, my dear friends. Of course, the world is uh, trying to motivate people to go in another way. And this joy cannot live forever. That is why Jesus is interested to give long time joy. That means everlasting joy that is actually from God. And for that, the Christians have to strive. That is why the Christians should be always the conscience of the politics in this world. That means this world should learn from the Christians. Especially in the early church, we see that Christians were actually uh, feared by um, the kings because they are just normal people, but they live in different way. They, re they are dependent on God, but they do the service even if their life is going to end. That means they were always in the power of God and through the power of God they were living and they did not have any fear uh, to be ashamed by the kings or to be killed by uh, the mighty people my dear friends that means we can show or we should show this world how godly life is and for that we can be weak we can be poor we can be stupid it doesn't mean because we can go ahead because the love of God is with us. My dear friends, especially, I'm so ashamed to, uh, to hear that the German government is sending a big machine um, to, um, uh, to Ukraine uh, for the war. For what we are sending such a big uh, uh, I mean vehicles? It is just to kill human beings, my dear friends. Even if a Russian way of going ahead is not good, but at the same time, can we stop the war just to take other weapons? Free uh, Peace cannot come just from the weapons, my dear friends. So we have to show other way around. I'm ashamed that a Christian country is doing like this. Of course, Russian or Ukraine countries, they are also Christians. They also should learn that we can never get peace through weapons. My dear friends, let us show this world what we are, from whom we are. We are really Christians. We are the children of God. That means we should show this world and Jesus will be happy. God will be happy. Then the kingdom of God will be here through us. All the best. God bless you.